Are you ready to learn to edit a TikTok video from start to finish? In this video, I am going to be showing you a very straightforward and detailed walkthrough of everything that you need to know to edit your first TikTok. Let's get started. Hey, if you're new here, my name is Katie Steckley and here on YouTube, I love to share all my best tips and advice about social media marketing and creative entrepreneurship. So what you need to know about making TikTok videos before you ever even get started is that when it comes to filming and editing TikToks, those two processes are kind of woven together. It's not as black and white as traditional video editing where you film everything first and then you edit it. It kind of happens as you go, which I'm gonna show you throughout the video. As you create your TikTok, you're going to start and stop recording. And as you go, those clips are gonna be automatically stitched together. You are gonna have the opportunity later to go back and trim those if you want to, but you kind of are editing the video as you are filming it. If you film something and you're not happy with how it turned out, then you can click the backspace button and delete the previous clip and try again. So with that being said, let's dive into the step-by-step -step process of making a TikTok. For the sake of today's video, I'm gonna do a very straightforward example, which is just a short video of me showing how I make my matcha latte at home. Obviously you can use this process for any kind of TikTok that you would want to make, but this one is just a really straightforward one that gives us the opportunity to try out a lot of the different features so you can see how they work. Step one, of course, is to film your TikTok. Once you know what you want to create, you're gonna to wanna to start capturing your clips in the order you want them to appear in the final video. Like I mentioned before, you can press that red button to start filming and then release to stop filming. You can also start a timer so that it'll automatically start filming you without you having to touch the screen. And when you use the timer, you can choose how long it films you for. So you're gonna want to film your clips in order, either by using the timer or pressing on that record button. You can spend as much time in between each clip as you want. So if you want to film a transition video, for instance, you can film yourself before you get changed. You can walk away from your phone for hours, days, however long you want, and then pick up that TikTok and keep filming again. You can save it as a draft in between as well if you want to you know, go back to browsing your For You page in between filming. However long it takes you, you're gonna film your clips in order. You want these clips to be roughly the length that you want them to turn out to be. You can go back and trim the clips and change the length of each individual recording if you want, but it is gonna be easier if you kind of get it right the first time. If you wanna make a lip sync or a dance video, before you ever start hitting the record button, you're gonna to wanna to tap on sounds in the top center of the screen. This is where you can pick from the huge variety of sounds that TikTok has to offer. There's all kinds of options, so find what you want to use and then just select it. Let's say you're scrolling through your For You page and you come across a song or a dance that you really wanna to try to replicate. What you can do is tap on that little record spinning button in the bottom right-hand corner of the TikTok. That'll take you over to where all of the videos are that use that particular sound. And you can just tap on use this sound and that will allow you to start filming your TikTok with that audio. For this example, I'm just gonna go ahead and film my clips without music and I'll add my soundtrack later. Step two is to edit. Once you have your clips all in order, your TikTok is almost done. There's just a couple finishing touches we're gonna do here to make it perfect. Like I was mentioning before, if some of the clips aren't exactly the right length that you were trying for, you can click on the little button in the top right hand corner that says adjust clips. This allows you to go into each of the individual clips that you recorded and adjust their length by trimming them from the beginning or the end. You can also reorder the clips in case you film something before something else by accident. You can switch them around by tapping and dragging that clip to reorder it in the timeline. Once all of your clips are the length and in the right order that you want, now it's time to move on to the next step, which is number three, adding music. So obviously TikTok is known for the trending music and sound bites that you can add to your videos. If you didn't start out by filming your video with music, you can still add a soundtrack after the fact. You just have to tap on the little soundtrack button and then if you click on the magnifying glass that will take you to browse, you can search for any kind of music you want or you can navigate over to your favorites where you can use music that you have saved previously. Let's say if you came across it while you were browsing the For You page. So you can go ahead and add your music and then you're ready to move on to the next step, which is number four, effects. You can add a lot of different effects to your TikToks. For example, you could do voice effects. That's in the top right-hand corner. If you turn that on, then you can change your voice recording to have some kind of like a funny sound to it. 
There are lots of trends that have used this recently. There's also lots of video effects, everything from adding kind of like flowers in the background to glitter, to lens flare, really anything that you would want to add a little bit of visual interest to your TikTok, you can find it there. And there's also filters. You can swipe through filters and find one that you think suits the imagery. This is very, very similar to any other kind of filter like an Instagram or Lightroom just changes the coloring of your video. Once you're happy with the effects that you've chosen to decorate your TikTok, the next step is number five, adding text. Now, if you wanna add text to your TikTok, it is very straightforward. All you have to do is tap that little button with the two A's and you can start typing. Once you've created the text box that you like, you can tap out of that, press done, and then tap on the text box again and select set duration. This is gonna take you to a panel where you can change the duration of the text so that it only shows up during the part of the video that you want it to. You can repeat this process for as many different text boxes as you want. And finally, we're on to step number six, which is publishing your TikTok. When you're totally happy with it and you've watched it through a couple times, you can press next and this will take you to the screen where you can enter your caption and your hashtag you can choose if you want it to be public or private and then finally you can press post now that you have all the tools that you need to create your very own TikTok, I want to give you five fun and easy viral TikTok ideas that you can make for yourself go ahead and check out this video that I made I've included five super detailed tutorials on exactly how to make really common viral and fun TikToks that you might want to try for yourself Normally, I would tell you to subscribe right now, but honestly, don't even waste your time subscribing. Just go watch this video because that's how valuable I think it's gonna be to you and just super fun to watch. So go ahead and head over there. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in this video. Okay, bye.